And a last couple of questions to you, and I want to uh, speak about something you've been passionately involved about, which is the semicon space, the semiconductor space. Now, this is a globally extremely competitive space with countries like the US offering. Uh, you know, you've obviously got Micron to sign up in Gujarat. Uh, is, that, is that space too difficult for India to compete in? Are we wasting too many resources? No, there? look, uh, first of all, I, I will certainly tell you, not because I'm a... a uh, you know, a junior minister in the uh, Modi government or the Modi team, I will certainly tell you that there is nothing today in the tech space that is difficult for India. Mm -hmm. First of all, that has to be very clearly understood. This is a country that is today building INS Vikrant with the electronic and sensor capability that can match or outmatch anything that is sailing uh, anywhere on, on the seas. This is a country that has taken a complex project like Chandrayaan-3 and executed it, conceived it, built it, uh, executed it over four years. This country today is building chips, designing chips that are powering our uh, Vikram lander. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the chips yeah, were yeah. designed in India by the Space Application Center and manufactured in the Semiconductor Complex Limited in Mohali. So I think for a minute to believe that there is something that is not doable for India is not to understand where we have reached in the last nine years. But semiconductor fabs are a, are a holy grail in a sense of it's an intersection of science and engineering, science and technology at the ultimate level. It is very, very, very complex science. It is very complex engineering. And it is the ultimate in manufacturing and science and engineering and everything combined. Mm. And we are having to do all of this after 65 years or 70 years of doing nothing about it. So I think we should... Understand this is a medium to long term game. Mm -hmm. We didn't do anything for the 65 years. We are trying to do in the next 10 years what China tried to do in 30 years, spent $200 billion and, and failed. Mm. And we are trying to do this in the next 10 years. So we will get there. Have, I have absolute confidence that with this type of clarity, strategic clarity of our Prime Minister, we will certainly get to FABs. But before that, we will be doing a number of equally exciting things in packaging innovation. We will be doing a number of exciting things in designing next generation chips uh, out of Indian startups and Indian companies working in partnership or without partnership with foreign companies. So we will certainly be in the next few years making a significant mark yeah. on the semiconductor supply chains and value chains that we were absent from, from 65, 70 years.